Hello everybody, it is a scary pair, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 Mario Kart 64 tracks. So, let's go straight into it. Mario Raceway. Yep, Mario Raceway is the track to kick off this list. And it's mediocre, let's move on. Moo Moo Farm. Now, if you ask me, I'm more of a Moo Moo Meadows guy than a Moo Moo Farm guy. Yeah, this course does have its charm, but I feel a lot more could have been done to this track. Not to mention that the cows don't even move. I mean, what sort of a farm has cows that can't even move? Yes, yes, I know, they aren't moving due to hardware limitations, although still, this track is fairly disappointing. And I feel Moo Moo Meadows is basically Moo Moo Farm, although a lot better and did a lot more right. Royal Raceway, and here comes my favourite raceway track in the game. N64 Royal Raceway does do quite a bit right. It's not too difficult and it's not too easy, and also the part where you see Princess Peach's castle as it was in Super Mario 64, it doesn't get much better than that. Koopa Trooper Beach, this track is, well, music is really the only good thing about this track. The actual track itself is kind of boring. I will give it some point due to the awesome and relaxing music, but generally, I feel a lot more could have been done to this track as well. Although, it is still pretty good. I still can't get over the music. The music is so good. Shame the track doesn't strictly reflect the music though. Yoshi Valley is a very interesting track, mainly because you have no idea what position you're in until you've finished the race. I don't think Nintendo did that on purpose because of hardware limitations, although whether or not they did that on purpose, that doesn't change the fact that this track is very tense, so you have absolutely no idea whether you're doing good or bad. Although might I mention that I really don't like Mario Kart 8's remake, Nintendo ruined the track because now the Wii U is powerful enough to tell you what place you're in, which removes the fun and enjoyment of Yoshi Valley in the first place. So if you were to play this track, play the original N64 version, not the Wii U or Switch version, play the original format to experience it. Calamari Desert. Now, generally, I actually really don't like desert tracks in Mario Kart because I find them very boring and there's not a lot to them. Except for Calamari Desert. Calamari Desert is the only desert track in the entire franchise that I like. The reason is quite simple. The train that literally puts the race to a complete stop. How often do you see that in a Mario Kart track? Exactly. Calamari Desert is a really good track, and this is the only desert track in the entire franchise that you can play without getting bored or wishing that you picked another track. I really like Calamari Desert, and even though it did come back in Mario Kart 7, I want to see it come back again. Rainbow Road. This track is the longest Mario Kart track of all time about 2,000 meters or 2 kilometers. Also the music, the music, the music is so good, it's relaxing, it's nostalgic, Nintendo couldn't have done a better job with the music. In fact, the music is so good that this theme used to be my alarm clock. Yep, I used to wake up to this theme in the morning. There is only one complaint about this and that the track has guardrails throughout the entire track, which kind of removes the irony of how Rainbow Road is the most difficult track of all time since you legitimately cannot fall off the track. So it can be a bit boring at times as well, but generally it is a really good track. N64 Frappe Snowland and just like Calamari Desert in the Desert Tracks, out of all of the snow and ice tracks in the franchise, I think that Frappe Snowland has to be my favourite. The music 
is so relaxing and nostalgic. Yeah, this track also shares the same theme as Sherbet Land, although quite frankly nobody likes Sherbet Land, so Frappe Snowland has to be better. Frappe Snowland, the music and the entire experience gives you a sense that you're just going outside and playing in the snow. There is one problem with this track though, and that is the snowmen. I mean, what on earth are in these things? Anyway, this track is very good and very relaxing. I love Frappe Snowland. Bowser's Castle. This track has a very ominous feeling. The thumps are put into very good places, and some of them you even have to think and use brain cells to avoid. This track also helps you with your visual awareness and reactions to danger, since there is a constant onslaught of thumps trying to squish you. There's also a section where you drive across Bowser's Garden, which is cool, I guess. What I really find funny about this track though, is that there's a thump that is locked up in jail. I mean, what did it do to get locked up? Why is it in jail? We may never know, but it is hilarious nonetheless. Yep, Choco Mountain is my favorite Mario Kart 64 race in the franchise. And you might be thinking, well, why is it my favourite? What makes it so special? What makes it unique? What makes it stand out against the other 15 tracks in the game? The reason? Well, it's quite simple. Firstly, as always, the music. Nintendo could not have done a better job with this. It makes the track feel more like an exhilarating adventure, more than a Mario Kart race. It makes you feel happy and very excited. It kind of feels more like a cowboy adventure more than a Mario Kart race. Also, this track is made out of chocolate. I mean, you can't get much better than an edible track. Also, the track's length is just right. It's not too long, like Rainbow Road, or not too short, like Moo Moo Farm. I love the ramps as well in the track. It makes the track feel even more adventurous. The track is also deadly nostalgic as well. I instantly think of the Nintendo 64 when I hear this music. This track is just perfect. I love Choco Mountain. It is my favourite track in Mario Kart 64, and it always will be. Thanks for watching, everybody. Of course, since N64 Choco Mountain won this list, it is in the face off with the winner of the Super Mario Kart track, which is SNES Rainbow Road. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you all next week. Goodbye.